Introducing OneScope Video Laryngoscope. The reason we call it OneScope is that we can do adult and pediatric and with an adult angulated and direct blades all on the same handle. Hence the name OneScope. Before I open the box and show some features, quick highlight of what's included. We have a rigid stylet that's included in the, in the box instructions for use manual and also a quick reference card that shows the main highlights of the features that are required to get the product started and here's some cleaning instructions on the back and charging instructions as well putting all that aside we have blades sizes 1 and 2 size 1 is neonatal size 2 is pediatric in adult, we have size 3, size 3 angulated, size 3 direct. Size 3 direct is denoted by D, so 3D is a 3 direct blade. Size 3 is just angulated. And we have 4, sizes 4, 4 and 4D, both in adult. So size 4 angulated, size 4 direct as indicated by the D here. Let's go ahead and open the box. Comes in this packaging here. And in the box, set the packaging aside. When you open the box, you'll see the product is pretty well secure inside the box. What's included is a power supply, which is a micro USB power supply and a data cable and the unit itself. Let me pull the unit out of the box, set the box aside, and walk through the features of, uh, of one scope. So here's the unit. As you can see, it's very light, easy to hold. You don't even feel it in your hands. Although the screen is a three and a half inch screen, it's very light, it won't tip over. Some features about the screen, the power button is on top, so all you do is you just press the power button down and the unit gets started. The screen itself is a touch screen and that can go 360 degrees, it can rotate. So for difficult airways, it's uh, easy to get the screen out of the way while you're intubating so it won't hit the chest of the patient. The display is a three and a half inch display. It's touch screen and comes with one million pixels resolution. So the image quality is extremely sharp. So not only can you see uh, the airway um, and, and the vocal cords, but the surrounding anatomy as well while you're intubating. And the three and a, three and a half inch screen, um, like I said, a one megapixel display. On the side is a charger. So you use a micro USB charger. Each charge takes in about 350 to 400 intubations. And once the battery is discharged, you just recharge it with the included micro USB charger and that takes about two to two and a half hours to go from zero to full charge. So you, there is no need for additional batteries or replaceable batteries. Um, the battery is built in and just needs to be charged with a micro USB charger. There's also a HDMI outlet here. So if there is a need to display the image on a larger screen, you can use a HDMI connector from here to the larger, larger display. And you can see the image simultaneously both on the smaller display and the larger display as well. While you're intubating, if there is a need to take pictures or do video recording, there is a small button here. You touch that and that takes a picture. And if you hold the button down for a couple of seconds, it starts recording video. We've included eight gigabytes of built-in memory in the system that can take about 2,000 pictures and 40 hours of video. Once the card is full or halfway through, whenever you need to transfer images, you just use the included data cable from micro USB to a USB in your PC or Mac, and then you can drag and drop the images just like a USB. Like I said, the screen is rotates 360 degrees. It's also a detachable screen. So on the handle, there is a button in the front. You can press the button down 
and then pull the display out. When you detach the display, the display stays on. And speaking of cleaning, between procedures, you can use standard hospital wipes to wipe down the device completely from top to bottom. The handle is smooth and nice and clean, so there's no crevices or any opportunity for any contaminants to get in. And as you move down the handle, we have a stainless steel channel. The stainless steel channel, we give it slight warmth. You don't even feel the warmth, but that warmth is enough to keep the fog out of the airway. So you don't need to preheat the device or you don't need anti-fog coated blades with the one scope. The, the warmth in this channel and the warmth on the tip here keeps the fog out of the airway and gives a very clear image. I'm going to talk about the blades uh, in a minute. So like I said, on the same channel you can fit both adult and pediatric and direct and angulated blades. First I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate how to use adult blades. So starting with an adult angulated blade, take the blade and then slide in till you hear the click. It's very important that the blade clicks in place so that it stays secure and doesn't come off. You can see this is a adult size 4 angulated blade. That's the largest blade that we have. To remove the blade, all you do is just slip your nail behind the notch here and the blade slips off. It's very simple. Click, slip off. That was the angulated blade. We also have an adult direct blade that slides on the same channel. Slide, click, and here's a direct blade. As you can see, this profile is a lot straighter. This profile matches the profile of a Mac 3 and Mac 4 direct. Let me take that off. Now to switch from adult to pediatric, all you do is hold the unit and just grab hold of the stainless steel channel and gently push it in. That's all you do, just push it in and that goes into the pediatric mode. And I have a size one blade here, which is the smallest size for neonatal. And I can slide this blade on the same handle. So size one, pediatric. To remove the blade, we do the same. Just reach behind, and pull the blade out of the notch. And to go back to adult mode, you just pull the stainless steel channel out. It's very important that when you're in the adult mode, the stainless steel channel is out because as I'll demonstrate, if the stainless steel channel is in the pediatric mode, you can see the image here, it's clear. And then in the pediatric mode, if I slide on an adult blade, there is a gap here. And you can see the image looks like that. So whenever the image looks like that, you'll know that the adult blade is on in the pediatric mode. To do that, simply take the blade out Set it aside, pull the channel out, put the blade back on, and the image is clear to intubate. So that's a quick overview of OneScope. We've included an 800 number in our instructions manual. You can call us at any time on that 800 number if you have any questions or if you have any concerns while you're using the product. And we are here 24-7 to help you out. Thank you again for watching.